Hi there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so moving on with what we were talking about in the previous video. Uh, one of the things this morning when I was going through this moment of absolute gratitude in my car driving towards work, I realized, you know, we are here to experience life. We are here to have all these experiences. And the end result, what we, our goal every time is to know what that experience feels like. That's what we're here for. With each experience that we have in our lives, we are here to know what that feels like. Now, few examples pop into mind and you know I'm thinking yesterday I'm at the park with my little girl and she's on the swing now surely you must remember being a kid and being at the park and there's swings and you get into the seat okay on your on your belly right and you twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it right so it goes as far as it can and then you let go and it just twists itself out and you come out of it and you're all uh, and falling over and all dizzy why do all the kids do that? Think about it, because we've all done that. We've all done it. And you come out and you giggle because it's so silly because you can't walk and you're all dizzy. and It's to experience what it feels like. You know? And it's so difficult because from so young we are told not to feel. Not to feel. You know, not to show our emotions. Because for many of those emotions, say for example, anger, we were not allowed to express anger. That was a negative emotion. We weren't allowed to express it. There was something wrong with us if we expressed anger growing up. You know, or sadness. What have you got to be sad about? We give you everything. You have everything. What have you got to be sad about? So if you follow through and listen to previous videos, you'll know that I'm always telling you to embrace your feelings, whatever that feeling might be, whether it's anger, whether it's the sadness, embrace it. It's there for you. There's a reason it exists. We are meant to feel all of it. We're meant to know what it feels like. So, you know, the problem is we go through our childhood and to, like for boys, for example, I remember growing up, boys weren't allowed to cry. If they cried, it was a sign of weakness. They weren't ex allowed to express that feeling. If they were sad, they weren't allowed to cry. And so for boys, it was even harder because at least girls, we were allowed to cry. You know, it was, it was still frowned upon because what have you got to cry about? But. It wasn't like with boys, it's, oh, that's not a manly thing to do. You know, he's going to turn out to be a wuss when he grows up or, you know, or he's not going to be a strong person. You know, I remember a trip to the dentist and this is in a previous video. And my dad said that if I cried, he would walk out of the room and leave me with this stranger. And at the end of it, you know, I made no sound at all. There was, I was, you know, really good. And I held on for dear life because it was quite painful. I was having an injection. I was having a filling. It was all happening that day. And I was nine, nine, ten, give or take. And I remember coming out of it and my dad saying, what a strong little girl I was. You see? So from quite young, we're being told constantly that to not feel certain emotions means that we are strong. You know, showing certain emotions is a sign of weakness. We shouldn't have them. For many of us, this is how we've grown up, that certain feelings are acceptable and other feelings are not. Even to this day, I still see it with parents. You know? And I remember watching Dr. Phil once and there was this family there and the parents were fighting because they were, uh, it was all over the place. But. I remember this one moment where the dad says to the youngest girl, why are you complaining? Why are you upset? We've given you everything. 
And from what I could tell, the mum and the dad, the dad had cheated on the mum, and there was this energy, this, this backwards and forwards, this negative energy between them that she couldn't forgive him for what he had done. And this had been going on for years, this bickering of not being able to forgive it. And that's what this girl was growing up with in her home. But she had everything. They had given her everything. How could she not be happy? You see, for some reason, some parents seem to think that giving their kids all the material things they need, giving them everything they need for school, giving them everything they need, you know, the food, the clothes, everything, they seem to think that that is all they need, that that is enough. And we don't understand as adults, as grown-ups, as the parents, we don't understand that our child is watching us every day when we're angry, when we're fighting with our partner, when we're bickering. They have to live with this constant argument in the house, these parents that don't get on. They seem to think that that doesn't matter because, oh, here, have another toy. Here, have another iPad. Here, have another, have another iPhone. Go, go, you know, entertain yourself over there. We're busy doing us here. This is grown-up stuff. It's got nothing to do with you. All the while, you're all living in the same house. Your children are listening to this. So I want you to really think about that today. When you say we give you everything, you have everything, what have you got to be upset about? What is this everything that you are referring to? What is this everything? Is it the things that really matter? All right, my darlings, I really want you to think about that today because it's such an important question. What is this everything that you're giving your kids? Is it what they really, really need for them inside as a person, for them to grow and be happy and joyful and peaceful people that can contribute to the world? Are we contributing to that? Or are we just giving them stuff? Think about it. All right, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk more about it in the next video, okay? Bye for now.